welcome back to, well, Her Restored Spirit YouTube channel. And my name is Tammy, I'm the host. And I am sitting in my car, which I've already, if you've watched any of these, you know that a lot of my videos are in my car because I spend so much time in my car. Um, and it is actually, it's pouring down rain. I love rain so much. I really hope, I hope it rains all day today. We need it. We have not had rain since June and it is, you know, we're knocking on August. So I was thinking about it because I'm, as moms, we have such busy schedules and the word busy is a, is a very unique biz, um, word because it means that we've got a lot to do, means that there's a lot going on. It means that we have a big to-do list. It's also a per, like a badge of pride of, oh, well, I'm, how have you been? Busy. Oh, what have you been up to? Oh, things are just so busy. And I'm not going to say that things haven't been busy. Things are really, there's a lot of going on. I mean, two kids who are very active, we homeschool, which means we have the co-ops and we have homeschool group and we have different, different things going on. Um, sports, you know, the world of competitive sports for kids is no joke. It's a definitely a full-time job, which means that I have like five full-time jobs. So I am busy, but one of the things that like really convicted me as one of the things that really is, well, okay. It was my coach. My coach said, Tammy, you've used the word exhausted, that you're exhausted multiple times. And I have, I do, I am tired and I have legitimate reasons to be tired, legitimate. I'm raising two kids. I, you know, like I said, we all those things that we have to do. And then she's like, are you really exhausted? Or, or is that your brain telling you, you don't have to do anymore? And I thought about that for a little bit because well, of course I'm exhausted. I'm a mom. I have so many hats, like on other, you know, so many things I'm juggling. I am, I call my car my second office for a reason but am I exhausted? And the realization is, is I'm not exhausted. The things that I do, that the things that I choose and that I get to do, I get to take my daughter to softball. It doesn't mean it doesn't take my energy. But sometimes we have to look at how we spend our day, what we do, and how can we utilize our downtime? Which is one of the reasons why instead of sitting in the car and scrolling on my phone, I've started working and not, not so I can add more work hours, but it's really, this is captive time. I am alone in my car, alone in my car. I have 20 minutes before my next appointment, not enough time. I mean, we've all done this where we have that dead space where in between one appointment to the next, but it doesn't make sense. We can't drive home. We can't go grocery shopping. We can't. So really it just makes sense to sit in the car. Um, and plus if we go into something, then we'll spend money. Um, not going to lie. I did stop by and get a tea because why not? I have 20 minutes. I might as well, you know, have some Chick-fil-A, um, unsweet tea and one of the things that I started doing that changed my thought process is again, I do not work in my car so I can work more hours. My intention is when I create my, my to-do list for the week, when I create my tasks, when I, I look to see what can I accomplish while I'm in my car, because then that gives me free time when I'm out of my car. Then I don't have to do that because I was using my free time sitting in the car, the hours that I do, and I would scroll or I would call, I, I would call a friend, which is also necessary. Many times, many times I would sit on a phone call with a friend, 
But we would sit and we would talk for an hour instead of talking for a good 10, 15 minutes checking in and then going and working by going, I mean, just, you know, pulling my phone out, pulling whatever I need out and working and getting it done so that when I'm at home, I don't have to, I don't have to do this now. I don't have to do a creative video. I wanted, I need to do, um, I get to do a couple videos each week. I'm trying to do four videos a week for the upcoming YouTube channel that is launching, which of course, if you're listening to this, it's already launched. So if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe, comment, review, like, tell the algorithm that you want to hear more of this. Um, and I'm telling you, because those those um, people who sit and play video games all day and just narrate their video games, um, yeah, we don't. I mean, our kids may want to listen to that, but we don't. So tell them you want to listen to this. Tell them that you like this. But I digress. So when you're looking at how busy you are, look at the pockets of time that you have that you can use productively that will allow you to use your free time in a different way. That will allow you to actually enjoy free time. Sit down, watch a movie with your kids, play, read, um, <sighs> Talk, go to coffee with a friend instead of just being on the phone with her. Um, getting dishes done, like those things that you need to get done. But now that you're, you're, you're utilizing your pockets of unused usable time, now that you have those used, you can actually use your time for something else. And again, don't make it to where, okay, I'm going to do extra in my car. I'm at, or at the sports field or in between appointments or um, when your kids are asleep. Whatever your pockets of time is, my guess is it's probably in your car. Um, I know a lot of you who listen to this have kids, um, older kids or driving them to and from school. Uh, other things, other ways. So when my kids were younger, we used to have like a 20 minute drive to school every day and I wanted to do a devotional with the kids. Getting up early, and it is ridiculous how early we have to get these kids up to their school. So one of the things that I would do is I found, um, and it was before the age of podcasts. I mean, this is 10 years ago. Um, we would listen to a devotional book on Audible or, you know, or whatever I could find, whatever I would do. Um, uh, keys for kids. I don't know if that's still around, but you should look for it if it is. But I would load keys for kids on my phone and there was an app for it. And we would do our devotional while driving. So again, it doesn't look like traditional. It doesn't look like you need to sit and pull. Everyone needs to pull up their Bible. They're a couple of years. There was like four and six, like that wasn't going to happen at that point and we had 20 minutes that we can sit and we as we're driving we would listen to it we would talk about it and then we would pray and we would each take turns praying um doing the kids called it a popcorn prayer and um and yeah it was we would trade off who got to go first and who got to go last but it was a time that i got accomplished something that i really wanted that mattered and so it, and I made it happen. And that allowed us to do other things later. That means we didn't have to find time to sit down and wrangle the kids when they're tired or too active. It's, I was a captive audience. So look at your time. Where are you wasting valuable time that instead of scrolling on your phone, instead of just sitting and doing nothing that you could use in order to give yourself time later. And with that, I hope you enjoyed this. Like I said, please subscribe. Please leave a comment. If you have an example of how you use your time, if you have an example, write in the comments. I would love to hear it. I would love to know how you use your, like where you find the time and then what you do with it and what, it, what benefits it has for you. And with that, check out my upcoming workshops. If you're looking it is time that we start surviving, like stop surviving and thrive in life.
it is time that we stop trying to just live and allow time to pass. Like the time is now to really, really have the life that you want and you can. So check out my upcoming workshops and come and learn three secrets to unlock your desire to thrive today. All right, with that, I will talk to you later. Bye for now. Hey, thanks for watching the video. If you are enjoying them or if you're getting anything out of it, please like and subscribe and um, send it to a friend. Also, don't forget I have a podcast, Her Restored Spirit, and as well as I'm on Facebook and Instagram at Tammy Marie Coaching. I can't wait to connect with you. And until then, choose joy, friends.